Ha ha! Still waiting on Facebook. Come on, Facebook. Get in the game, yo. Hey, there it is. All right. So, hi. This is Mike with Ritual Fitcraft, and today I am going to talk to you about sigils. Uh, specifically, sigils that are designed for health and wellness and fitness. Um, what are sigils, you might say? Sigils are uh, symbols, and uh, they're symbols that you create uh, that embody a specific idea or a goal. And the way that you create them, um, we're going to get into. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about why. Uh, and the purpose of a sigil is uh, that it is a symbol, and it's a personalized symbol. It uh, can be simple or elaborate. Uh, you can make it uh, part of a larger work of art if you like. That's one of my favorite ways to use them, uh, but I don't do it very often. Um, your brain operates. Your brain, your mind, your conscious and subconscious both communicate with symbols. Um, if you um, follow Jungian psychology, you'll know about archetypes, and symbols are, are part of that whole system that your brain uses. Um, to communicate uh, when you're dreaming, to uh, to really understand the world around us, we, we use a lot of sim symbolism. Uh, if you think about uh, McDonald's, you know, or Burger King, or Pepsi Cola, like they all have these real specific symbols that we associate with them, and when you see that symbol, it reminds you of this corporation, and that's why they they use this sort of uh, this branding brands help you to realize uh, uh, it helps you with recall it helps you to visualize things uh, and to store ideas in a real specific way so um, these companies that use this branding um, rely on the way that your brain uh, works with symbols and uh, it shuts it it shutters it right into your into your subconscious and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use that mechanism of your of your mind the way that it uses symbols to talk to you and we are going to uh, take advantage of that by creating sigils that you can use um, to make change in your life you can manifest new things uh, you can uh, Hi, Condra. Glad you're here. Uh, you can use symbol uh, sigils to manifest things. You can use them to change your behavior. You can use them to, uh, I mean, really, they're a magical tool. And most magic is uh, something that you use to change yourself, to change your consciousness. And so this is a really, just like a meditation or anything else, this is a really, really good tool that you use to make changes in your own consciousness and that affects uh, everything around you it affects your reality we create our own reality and so this is a way for you to uh, kind of program that creation you know it's a way for you to interfere a little bit um, in that that creation of your reality in a, in a manual way manually creating your reality um, sigils there is a formula to create them. And first of all, let me show you. Uh, I've got a few. I, I One of the ways that I uh, practice my sigil practice is a lot of times when I create a sigil, I destroy it afterwards. So I don't have a lot of pictures of my sigils. Um, but I can show you a couple. Um, these are a few that I had sitting around on a notepad. Hang on a second. There you go. So this is the general idea. Um, and I'm going to show you how to how to do those today. Uh, like I said earlier, the ones that you make can be very basic. Um, if you see all of these, uh, these are some pretty old ones that I did a long time ago, and they uh, look a lot like letters. Like you can see individual letters in there. And my my sigils now are a little more advanced um, because I've been doing them a lot more. And um, but they can be as basic as you want. You can be really minimalist. Um, or you can make them super elaborate and decorative and beautiful. 
Um, you can store them um, around your house, or you can destroy them, or you can um, uh, write them all in a notebook. You know, if you've got a book of shadows or, or a journal or something like that, um, that's a real nice way to maybe keep track of ones that you've made just uh, to amuse yourself uh, and to kind of just track your, your sigil pro progress. Um, but the point with sigils is that you're supposed to create them and then you charge them. Uh, so when you create them, the first point that you uh, are using in your creation of your sigil is a goal. You're thinking, um, well, for, for our particular purposes, it's usually something related to your health, your wellness, your well-being. Um, uh, protect you from sickness <laughs> it would be a great one you know protection from COVID-19 uh, I actually did a sigil for that and uh, shared it on Facebook a while ago um, and Instagram too I think um, just uh, sigils for various purposes that you create um, but you want to have a goal in mind like what is something that you are trying to achieve what is something that you've worked that you've been working for that you want a little magical boost um, I really uh, made quite a few that were uh, specifically about my training and my strength and things like that. I, I did some affirmations, and so I already did this work, and you should do this too. Um, and actually, if you're watching this right now, go ahead and just start taking notes. Grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper. Um, grab a, 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 if you don't already have that stuff, go ahead and get it handy real quick and just take some notes and you can take some time right as we're doing this and write down some affirmations of your own. Um, when you think of your affirmation, uh, the formula for a, the affirmation that you want to create is that it needs to be in the present tense. Okay, you want to make sure that you are um, with visualization, with manifestation, you have to be in the present. You have to visualize and manifest the thing. You already have it. It's already here. Uh, the energy is already there. It, you just need to realize that you have it, whatever it is that you that you are feeling like you're wanting. Um, so when you create your statement, you want that statement to be in present tense. Um, you also want it to be positive. You don't want to say, um, I want to quit, I want to quit smoking cigarettes. Uh, but a good statement to use instead of, like if you have a cigarette problem and you're smoking cigarettes all the time right now, and I still see people do it, and I, it's just crazy with a respiratory issue that, like we have right now <laughs> going around, but um, I still see people smoking cigarettes, and so if you're trying to give up that habit, no judgment. I did it too for a really, really long time. Um, I've quit for about, it's almost, almost 10 years now, I think, um, but yeah. if you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes, you want to visualize that and, and manifest that in the positive so you would think about how it feels after you have quit you know you're smoke free and you're breathing easy and you can smell and you can taste and there's all of these new things that you know you, like you've realized how different your life is and maybe you started jogging and so really think about what it's going to be like uh, once you've quit cigarettes you know once you all of the changes the good things that you're looking forward to in quitting cigarettes and you get that feeling of that thought in your head and make an entire scene if you can it's really hard for some people to visualize uh, but this is a really really important part of manifestation and it's an important part of sigil creation as well so you want to get that scene in your head whatever it is I'm gonna continue using that quitting smoking cigarettes thing because I did I've done this myself um, but think about, uh, for me, one of my things was uh, was changing my life into, I used to be this guy who worked at a computer all day, and so I was very overweight, and I had a lot of really, really bad nutrition habits and uh, lifestyle habits and cigarettes. Uh, it was astounding, really, what I, what I did to my body. Um, but what you want to do is you want to visualize those things that, uh, you're working towards so I visualize like what it would be like to run you know and and like running long distances and I would watch other people run and I would think about how that must feel and I would try to get that feeling in my body and I would visualize it and uh, you know I I 
use that as a way to, to make changes. And so what you want to do is think um, about what your, you know, what your life is going to be like after you make those changes. So with the quitting smoking thing, you know, I'm running, I'm, I'm, uh, I smell everything better. Maybe, maybe you're a foodie and you really, really like food and you're looking forward to how much better food is going to taste when you've quit smoking those cigarettes. You know, so that's the sort of thing that you would want to do. Like I am a I am astounded by how much better my food tastes since I quit, you know, or um, I quit smoking cigarettes because I, no, you don't even say quit, actually. I'm astounded at how much my food tastes better without cigarettes in my life or something like that. Like you can make sentences. And so I've made a few um, I see and feel my training making me stronger. Um, talking about my training, like my lifting weight. Uh, I am dedicated to moving my body every day. And that doesn't say that I'm busting my ass and I'm killing myself and I'm doing CrossFit style workouts every day, but it says I'm moving my body. I'm getting up and moving around. I'm exercising. I'm dancing, you know, around the house. I'm I'm running up and down the street, you know, in my neighborhood. I'm hiking. I'm doing whatever I can do with social distancing in mind, of course. Um, I'm exercising in my home gym, which just blows my mind every time I look and see all this equipment in my house. Um, that was a really cool manifestation. Uh, I love the way consistent exercise feels in my body and spirit. Um, now some of these are really long, and so you might want to make multiple sigils out of a really long sentence, uh, because it can get a little complicated. Uh, and Condra, I see you watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask because I would love to be able to answer questions while I'm doing this. Snake Belly Botanica, hi there. Thanks for watching. Um, I love my body and enjoy all of the active things I do. And that is a really good one, I think, because it leaves you open to, you know, like if you don't know what active people do, <laughs> you know, water skiing, I don't know, you know, cross country skiing, whatever. Um, that's just a real good one. Or if you if you have a goal to cross country ski, you could say, uh, I, I love how my body feels now that I cross country ski all the time. Um, that's a really that's a w, double whammy, right? You're you're getting more skiing in your life, and you're getting more good body feeling. And uh, I recover quickly from my training. That's one that I'm going to make for myself, and I'm going to actually uh, I'm going to draw that sucker on my squat rack. I just got this squat rack. It's the first time I've ever had a squat rack of, of my own. My fiance uh, picked it up when the when the uh, COVID thing started, and so we have this beautiful squat rack, and I'm going to cover the sucker in sigils. I'm so excited. Uh, 6.15. Okay, i got to keep my eye on the time because I can get sidetracked telling you guys about all my cool plans. Um, my body feels strong and pain-free. Now, that's a really good one. Um... I look forward to my self-care routine, right? That's a good one to put um, on uh, your bathroom mirror with a sticky, you know, so that you remember to take a bath uh, and luxuriate in the bathtub a little bit once a week or so. Um, uh, I feel focused, happy, and energetic. You know, maybe if you have energy problems, if you feel tired all the time or you don't understand how you're going to have the energy to, to exercise, that's a real good one to use. Um, but you see that the point is you put these all into a present tense. You put these all into a, a tense that is positive, um, not negative, right? You're not saying anything, uh, like I don't, I, I want to quit. Like I stop something like that. Like you're, you're not saying I want to quit this or I want to stop this or I want, because if you have that as part of your manifestation that I want, you're you're manifesting your your loss or your want or your your desire. You have to take away the element of uh, lust of desire when you're doing this sort of work. Hi, J Flower one one three. Um, you got to take that lust for desire away from your manifestation because uh, if you really, really focus on that, and I see this all the time with with exercise and fitness clients, you know, they really, really get so hyper focused on a scale and whether a scale is budging or not that they stress themselves out really, really badly, generate all kinds of cortisol, and really have, have a negative effect on their body and how they feel about the whole process. 
um, because they get so really attached to this lust for result that they don't even understand uh, exactly how things are, are working out uh, that they that they uh, they manifest the opposite of what they're trying for. Um, so really what you want to do when you're manifesting uh, in this way is you want to be positive. You want to put it in a present tense, like it's already here. You already feel the feelings that you feel about this situation. Oh, I love my brand new apartment that I got from this fantastic job. You know, the view from this apartment is fantastic and I uh, love my life. You know, whatever it is that you're into. You want to put it in this way where you're feeling it, you're visualizing it, you're creating a scene, and then uh, you take that sentence that you're using, whatever one of these sentences that you wish, I look forward to my self-care routine. Um, you know, maybe you hate doing self-care. Maybe it's um, a really hard thing for you to take time out of your day and relax and meditate you know meditation is part of your self-care so if you have a real hard time with things like that this is one that you would use I look forward to my self-care routine actually you know what I'm gonna go through a couple of these and talk about the whys and how they relate to fitness and and that specifically as well um, you know I see and feel my training making me stronger um, that's just a good one to to use because sometimes we get so focused on numbers, uh, either like my PR strength or my weight loss, you know, the number going up, number going down, um, or weight gain for some people, um, whatever it is that your goal is, we get so focused on this number, um, you know, I didn't PR with my workout and I've been in plateaued for, you know, two weeks and I haven't moved. <laughs> um, getting into that kind of mindset where we get so focused on those those types of things that aren't actually rela directly related to our goals um, is really not beneficial so I see and feel my training making me stronger like maybe my training is making me stronger is that I'm, I'm getting more willpower to do that every day or you know to follow my training plan or like there's all kinds of different ways that you can get stronger you know maybe you're doing an extra rep or an extra set every uh every time you train um, there's all kinds of other ways uh so you're using this to change your perspective as well i'm dedicated to moving my body every day it's a really good one if you like want to lay on the couch all the time and you're like oh this sucks i don't want to exercise you know um instead of saying I want motivation you're saying I'm dedicated to moving my body every day like it's already a thing you're already there um, if you once again if you're one of those people's like oh I just hate going to the gym I hate you know going to the gym's not an issue right now but I hate getting outside and moving I hate doing yoga I hate you know training with weights or my kettlebell or whatever it is you've got inside uh, I love the way consistent exercise feels in my body and spirit that's a real mouthful. I might break that one down into separate pieces. If you guys hear any of these that you want or you have a suggestion for a sigil, uh, like a manifestation sentence that you want to create, um, let me let me know and I will write them out uh, for you. Um, I love my body and enjoy all of the active things I do. And once again, that's a real good one if you don't know what active people do and you're trying to become an active person uh, and maybe you're having some body issues and you don't like how your body feels or looks and so you're trying to exercise to make some changes and you're trying to figure out how to be an active person I, I literally had this experience myself that's a real good one to use because it leaves you open to doing all kinds of, of fun adventure stuff like you're not saying you do this thing specifically uh, I recover quickly from my training. That's a really, really good one to use for fitness magic um, because recovery is super important and most of us honestly don't take enough time for our own recovery, meaning you don't get enough sleep. Uh, we, we don't spend enough time prepping our food. We don't spend enough time meditating and focusing on our breathing and just kind of feeling our bodies. Um, we don't spend enough time doing stretching or yoga or exercising <laughs> um, but uh, recovery uh, saying I recover quickly from my training is just gonna help your body to be in this kind of energized 
uh, mode where it's trying to recover. It's trying to um, recover more quickly. Hi, Jay Nick White. Uh, my body feels strong and pain free. This is a real good one to use if you have pain, chronic pain issues, um, or you feel wiped out a lot, or um, you know, depression. When I feel depressed, man, my body just bleh, like I feel weak, like a kitten, and uh, things hurt, and I'm just kind of crunching and popping, and I'm not really moving real well. So that's a real good one for me if I'm feeling depressed. Honestly, my body feels strong and pain free. Uh, I'm gonna write that one on my on my squat rack. Like I said, um, there's all kinds of ways you can use these sigils. By the way, uh, we're gonna talk about ways to do that as well. Um, one really cool thing you can do with them. Oh, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, I look forward to my self-care routine. Once again, I said if you have a hard time putting aside time for self-care, that's a real good one to use. And your self-care can be your recovery in any way. You know, foam rolling, uh, getting a massage once a month, once you're able to let people touch you again, etc. cetera. Uh, I feel focused, happy, and energetic. Uh, that's just a real good one to use right now in general because... You know, it's easy to be scattered. It's easy to look at the news and be crazy all over the place and like freaking out and your your energy is going in a thousand different directions and anxiety because there's nothing you can do. And uh, so, yeah, instead of feeling all of those things and letting that happen, I feel focused, happy and energetic. And um, once you have your sentence that you want to use for your manifestation, whatever that sentence is, and once again, if you want a little bit of help, I'll be glad to to help you work out your sentence if you're having a hard time putting it into the right tense um, or you're having a hard time keeping it positive. Uh, I need to come up with one for sticking to healthy nutrition habits. I enjoy eating a nutritious meal for dinner every night. Um, I am thoughtful about my... Uh, I'm thoughtful about the food that I feed my meat sack. <laughs> um, I enjoy eating healthy and nutritious food. I stock my refrigerator with only the most nutrient dense vegetables. Um, whatever, whatever it is that you're into, like, I'm not saying you should eat just vegetables by any stretch of the freaking imagination. Uh, I'm a, a big, big time meat eater, but whatever it is that you feel is nutritious for you, I mean, you've got to, you know what your body needs usually, right? I mean, if you really, really think about it, you kind of know the things that you eat that feel good and the know, you know, the things that you eat that don't feel so great. Um, so whatever your idea of nutritious is, um, you can make something to, to kind of fit that. It just takes a little bit of practice, honestly, and that's a real magical act to changing your perspective on something, especially when there's so much um, emotion tied to it. You know, that's part of uh, part of what magic is for. I think is helping us to get more of an ob objective viewpoint and clearing away all of the clouds that are caused by emotional, uh, maybe trauma or or you know weird emotional stuff uh, that we struggle with. Um, that, that makes everything confusing and scary and, and anxiety producing. Um, so yes, um, yeah, and if and Condra, if you want more help with uh, with the nutrition um, sentence, um, shoot me a message afterward too, and I'm happy to help anybody else out. If you guys need help, uh, just shoot me a, a, a message, and I'll be glad to try to help you to put this in a in a positive uh, in a positive light for your manifestation. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, once you've got that sentence, you've got that vision, uh, that scene that you've created in your mind of, of how good it feels to sit down, uh, to a wonderful nutritious salad with, you know, some steak and some mushrooms and some cheese and nuts and seeds and, you know, whatever dressing you feel is, uh, appropriate, et cetera, et cetera, you know, you're, you're, feeling that feeling and tasting it and whatever else um, once you've gotten that vision in your head you've got the sentence that you want to use uh, to to associate all of those things that that vision you know seeing it hearing it feeling it in your body 
I'm not too stuffed. I ate just enough that I'm not hungry anymore and I feel my body is like absorbing all of these beautiful nutrients. Like really get yourself in the place. You know, if you have to close your eyes to do it, that's great. Um, honestly, this is a really good time. Uh, we're not gonna, we're not actually gonna do a meditation today, but this is a perfect time to meditate in the process, right? Um, getting this visualization really, really straight in your head and just like seeing the picture and tasting the taste and you know, feeling the wind on your face uh, because you've just finished hiking this beautiful plateau and you're uh, you know you up to this beautiful plateau and you're standing looking out over the ocean you know with the breeze and this is one of the things that active people do and it feels great you know uh, whatever it is that you're that you're trying to visualize like get in that space and really um, just feel that and see that and and really try to enhance it like think about the best stories that you've ever been told those stories always have details so you've got to feel the wind on your, you know, on your skin. You've got to smell the scents in the air in the forest, you know, that you live in a cottage with your, you know, significant other that you've always wanted, and, uh, this place to live, and you finally have this beautiful cottage in the middle of the woods, you know. So smell the pine trees and see the mushrooms and, you know, feel the the mist on your face. Um, you got to get these pictures, and, and that's really what a lot of this is about. Um, once you have that picture, then you are going to take that sentence, you, you associate all of those things together in your head, and uh, I'm going to show you, you basically take this sentence and you break it down into a symbol that looks sort of like this. These are really old ones, so they're not my best, most current work, but I'm going to show you some, some that I do right here and now. Um, you create the sigil. And then after that, you uh, charge the sigil, and then you uh, use the sigil. You can destroy it. You, there's all kinds of different ways to charge and use them. Uh, so I might have to do a two-hour. <laughs> Originally, when I did a sigil workshop, it was two hours, and we didn't even get into some of the details. Um, so that being said, let me show you. I need to move my cameras around a little bit, so bear with me, please. Up here. Trying not to spill things all over the place. Oh, nuts. I want that behind me, don't I? I do, I do. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm to figure out how to give you guys the best view of this and I'm honestly just not really sure this is the first time I've ever tried to do something like this online mm -hmm. all right now you Instagram can you dig it I don't even know what you can see man what a mess hey there's my altar This is not going to work as well as I had hoped. All right, I'm doing my best here. Um, I'm going to have to use a marker so that everybody can see because this is really washed out. So, here's how we do this. Too big. Uh, sticking to healthy nutrition habits. Let me. What was that one that I said? Um, I enjoy eating nutritious 
food. Hey, preparing and eating nutritious food. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to start your sigil. Uh, the method that I prefer, that I find personally to feel the most powerful, that makes the most sense, that's the easiest for me, is a method that uh, is really simple. And I'm going to show you right now. You just take, you just take your sentence. I enjoy preparing and eating nutritional food, and you throw away all of your vowels. Okay, um, so I is out the window. Enjoy, E is out the window. N, J. I'm going to say Y is a vowel. To screw Y, we can make Y's easily if we really want to. Eating, E, A, two vowels out the window. T, I out the window. N, G. So N, J, T, N, G so far. Uh, whoops, preparing. We've got to get preparing in there as well. So P, R. Uh, another thing that I neglected to mention is if we have a double letter, like see how there's two P's in preparing? We only use one of those P's. So P, R, E is out the window. P is gone. A is gone. R we've already got. That's gone. I. N, we've already got an N right here. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to use that N either. There's an N there. Uh, preparing and so D is a new one. Enjoy preparing and eating. Nutritional, we've already got an N. U is a vowel. Uh, we've already got a T. Already got an R. I, T, I, O, N. Uh, or nutritious. Yeah, we did nutritious. So I O U S. That's a new one. Bam. Food. And we don't have an F yet. So there's an F. O O D is right here. So we ha uh, took that sentence. I enjoy preparing and eating nutritional food or nutritious food. And we reduced it to N J T G P R D S F. That's still a lot, but that's cool. We're gonna do it. Um, this is the hard, hardest part, I feel like. And a lot of people look at sigil creation and they go, "Well, I'm not really creative, so it's gonna be really hard. I'm not artistic." Um, and honestly, it just gets easier the more that you practice it. So if you um, are having a real hard time with your sigil right now, first of all, you don't have to use it. You don't have to use your sigil if you don't want to. Um, you are welcome to recreate it. You know, you can you can change it any way that you want. Um, you don't have to, to use it. You don't have to... Uh, you can change it however you want, you know? It, it's not a matter of, man, what the hell is up with my... Sorry. I don't understand why my frame rate is so crappy. Looking at my stream metrics, it's not good. Anyhow, um, so the point is, with with the sigil creation, you don't have to use the sigil if it doesn't feel good. You can always redraw it. Uh, so don't get too hung up on whether it's great or not your first time out. Um, they'll get better the more that you practice them. So we're going to take this N-J-T-G-P-R-D-S-F. And once again, the way that we got to those letters is we took this sentence, I enjoy preparing and eating nutritious food, and we dropped out all of the vowels. We also dropped out all of the repeating letters, and that's what got us these, these letters here. So what I usually do is I try to start at the beginning. NJ is uh, the first two letters I've got to work with. So N is really hard to disguise, right? I'm just going to throw it there. Uh, my J, I'm going to stick on the side here. So see how there's 
a J right here. You turn that sideways, ta-da! It's an N with a horn on it. NJT is my next thing, so I'm gonna take my T right here. Uh, G, I feel like I already have the makings of uh, some G energy going on right here, honestly. Uh, I almost don't feel like I need a G. And if that is something that you feel when you're doing this, you know, stick to that feeling. Um, I am going to kind of give it a little, a little bit more G energy by putting that tail there. Um, can you guys see here? Let me see. See how we got here, what we have so far? Oops, sorry. I really need to find a better way to stream. Uh, to both Instagram and Facebook at the same time. Is that possible? If you guys see this and know a better way to do this, please help me out. Anyhow, that's what I got so far. Uh, that's NJTG. I've got PRDSF left. Um, I feel like I've got a whole lot of P energy going on with this little symbol that I, or this little line that I just put in to give me a little more G energy. I feel like there's a lot of P going on there too. So I might just leave that. Uh, I don't want to make an R there because that is a little bit too intense. Uh, instead of an R right out, I'm going to kind of put a circle right here on the end of this. Um, and that to me looks like enough R to make me happy. Uh, and then D. You know, I've got a whole lot of D energy going on right here already as well. I don't feel like I absolutely have to have another. I've got a lot of F too. I've already got an F going on right here. Uh, and an S. I'm going to make that a little more S-y. Man, you know what? This uh, is pretty much done, I think. Uh, if I really wanted to make that D somewhere... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the D as sort of a cartouche around the whole thing, like a gravestone maybe, you know? Cartouche around the whole thing. Ta-da! There's my sigil! So yeah, I mean, really, every time that you do this, uh, it's going to be very different, and if I think it's a really good drill if you're trying to practice sigils and you're trying to get better at sigil work, take the same sentence over and over and over and just redo it over and over and over. Um, you'll get better and better, and you'll you'll have some that feel really really good. I actually really like this sigil. I feel like that's pretty darn good. Um, with the sigil, honestly, the point is to cause a change in your consciousness. So if you see one that you've made and you're like, oh, this sucks. I'm not happy with how this came out. Like I said, just redo it. Make a brand new, make a brand new sigil. And I'm going to show you, like N-J-T-G-P-R-D-S-F, right? Uh, N's are really challenging, I feel like. But what's nice about an N is if I turn it on its side, it's a Z. Uh, so I'm going to N... Uh, and then J, I can't do the same thing I did last time for the J, so I'm going to put the J, oh no, I totally could, I guess, uh, I'm going to put the J right here, so like it's an anchor now, right, uh, T, I've already got a T, um, with my J, bam, G, where do I want my G? I'm going to put my G right here. Uh, P R D S F. Uh, P R D is going to be interesting. I don't know, I kind of like that symbol by itself. Uh, I've got N G T J right here already. Can you see that? Yeah. Whoops. Oh, where it is. There it is. 
That is the beginning. That's my NJTG. That's my NJTG right there. Uh, PRDSF, I'm going to do on a different spot. So PR, I've got both of those, and there's D already. Uh, F. S. I'm going to do it like the one that used to be on my notebook when I was in high school or whatever, middle school. So those two symbols are my sigil. Uh, and see how they're very, very different. You know, here's the first one I did. This is two that replaced that first one. It's exactly the same intent. You know, it's exactly the same statement of manifestation. See, there's the first one. There are the second one, basically, the second two. Those are exactly the same thing, symbolically. You know, they're exactly the same statement. And those two different, very different ways to draw them. So what you do is you just take whatever one. And so you can spruce these up, too, right? Like, I'm going to put arrows. Make this look a little like graffiti. Like, you can just draw on them and make them whatever it is that you feel is powerful for you, you know? I can fiddle with that as much as I want. You can make it a piece of a bigger picture. Um, but the point is that it has those symbols in it that you've created that are based on your, your statement of intent. Statement of intent, I like that. Um, so once you've created those symbols, then the next uh, step is is charging them uh, and uh, there's a, a few different ways to charge um, there's a few different ways to charge them honestly there's tons of different ways to charge them um, and when I do a longer sim uh, I'll do a longer sigil workshop uh, and I'll figure out this camera situation to make it a little bit better but when I do this longer sigil workshop I will um, talk about various ways to charge them as well. Uh, I'm assuming that everybody watching my videos is an adult, so one of the ways that you can charge these is actually uh, sex or, or masturbation um, works really well. Um, and that's a real common way, if you look at chaos magic, that's a real common way to charge the symbol. Um, what you want to do is uh, get yourself into an excited state by uh, whatever means are, are available and uh, your preferred. And once you are at the climax of your energetic uh, experience, you make sure that you are staring at and focusing on this sigil. And uh, when I have my fiance involved in our magical workings together. I sometimes like to draw these on her body uh, because it makes the whole process a little bit easier. Um, so that's a fun way to use them. Uh, but that, that energy peak, uh, your orgasm, is actually what charges the sigil and makes it magical. So you want to make sure that you're focused on the sigil um, at that energetic peak. Um, there are other ways to charge them, of course. Uh, that is the what I feel is a, one of the most effective and uh, fun ways. Uh, additionally, uh, you could draw a sigil. This is a real good one for exercise, uh, for for fitness, uh, for ritual fit craft. A real good way to uh, deal with your sigils as well is oh man, that's a better view, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know Instagram. I'm trying to help you. Uh, another way to deal with charging your sigils that's a real good uh, motivator as well is to write them on your body in makeup. And uh, let's say you're going to use one of those health sigils talking about... Um, let, me give you, let me give you another one again. My body feels strong and pain-free. Or I look forward to... Or I recover quickly from my training. like Something like that. A good way that you could use one of those would be to draw it on your body in makeup and do that right before you're going to go exercise, right? And you want to um, try to exercise that makeup off your body. <laughs> and 
A, that's going to charge your sigil while you are, while you are, oh, you know what, let me, let me rotate this camera so you guys can see me again. That's going to charge your sigil while you are doing your thing, uh, while you're getting your exercise on. Your sigil will be charged. Hello there, Instagram. Welcome back to my face. And I'm trying to... Uh, hang on one second there. Da, 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 not awkward at all. I don't know where that camera is pointing. Uh, so, I really need to put you guys together. So yes, draw your sigil on your body with makeup. That is a great way to go. Okay. So yeah, um, draw your sigil on your body with makeup and then try to exercise. Makeup would be really good. Um, because a it's a fun challenge uh, and it's gonna make sure you get a really into workout um, it charges the sigil through all of the exercise right so just think about the ways that you're charging these things um, sex masturbation uh, an excited state of any kind you could go dancing you know go out and party your ass off dance dance your brains out and then um, at the peak of your dance experience what is that you see here all kinds of weird stuff going on. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> okay. Uh, at the peak of your of, of your dancing frenzy, you know, uh, have your sigils drawn on your hand in magic marker, so, you know, sweat free mark or sweat proof marker, so it doesn't come off. And while you're dancing, you know, at the peak with the best song, your drop, you know, with the best the drop of the best song, your favorite song is on. Like looking at that sigil and really thinking about that feeling, that thought. Remember what this represented. You don't even have to remember what it represents. Honestly, the best way uh, to use these is to forget what the hell they are. And to so sometimes I'll take um I'll take my notebooks that has my sigil on it, and I'll stash them somewhere for a really long time. <laughs> And then I'll charge them and, and fire them later after I've forgotten what they're supposed to be. Because you don't want to remember what the sigil means um, because of that lust for result, right? That takes away the lust for, for result if you forget. So, um, yeah, just draw it on your hand. Go out and dance your ass off. And, and when your favorite song comes on and the drop is happening, you're like, yeah! Look at that sigil and charge it. Um, that's a real good way to go, too. And then when you wash it off, you're destroying it, and it's gone, and you'll forget about it as well. Um, and that is the last uh, part of uh, sigil use, is to destroy the sigil. Um, so, like I said, if you've got a notebook, you've got... One of my favorite things to do is to take a whole bunch of my sigils that I've created and put them all on the same page, and then I fire them off, and whatever method you know I feel like using... Uh, and then when I destroy them, I can just burn that page and they're gone. Poof. Um, and destroying them is the way that you actually launch them. Uh, you, you let go of it in the, um, uh, in the, ma in the imaginal plane. You're letting go of, of what this represents and you're just letting it go. And then it will come back to you in the physical plane. That's the point, uh, in, in the sigil creation. So, um, that's a really good way to do it. And uh, it works really, really well. Um, you can fire off a whole bunch of them at the same time. You don't have to, like, you, like I said, you don't want to worry even about what the hell they, they say. Um, just make sure that the sigils that you're firing off are still things that you want. <laughs> don't be firing off old sigils, you know, if you've changed your mind because you're going to manifest old things that you don't want anymore. Um, yeah. So... What are other things that you can do with them? You can write sigils in your food. Um, like when you're creating, uh, you know, like I, one of my favorite things to, to make is chicken crust keto pizza. And sometimes I'll draw sigils um, on, my, on my pizza crust in like the sauce and stuff. And then I'll cover it with the cheese and it's gone. And I bake it and it charges it and I eat it and it destroys it. Um, that's a real good one for health and, and fitness too. You know, make, making sigils on your food, you're eating it, and then you're, uh, that, usually my sigil is going to be, I don't want this food's nutritious for my body, and, you know, something about nutrition, obviously, when I'm eating it. 
um, is a good way to, to go. You always want to make sure you've got those correspondences that things are associated like that. Um, another good thing to do with your sigils for health and fitness and wellness is to write them, um, you can take them, you know, write them all out like this and just stick them on your bathroom mirror. You know, you can have a whole big collection of them all the way around your mirror, like this magical post-it note library um, that you just kind of notice in the background. You know, that's that's ideal. If you can look at these things all of the time, you're always kind of charging them a little tiny bit. Um, and they're working in the background. You're not really consciously thinking about them anymore. That's a really good way to go. Um, but yeah, you can you can charge your sigil and then pop it up there on the mirror and forget it. You know, and uh, it'll just be this thing that's sort of in the background um, with your daily affirmations and whatever else you can do your daily affirmations in sigil form. Uh, and that's a real powerful way to, um, you know, to do your thing. Just make sure you're looking in the mirror, um, going into that room, whatever else. Uh, do I have any other specific health and fitness sigil use? Um, yeah, you can write them on. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to do, like I mentioned, is I'm going to write some sigils on the squat rack. And uh, that's a way that you can kind of enchant the item. Uh, and I'm just going to, you know, whoever uses a squat rack is, is, you know, stronger and more powerful than they ever imagined. Or some, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't made up my squat rack sigils yet. Or my statements of intent for my squat rack yet. But um, I'm going to make those and write those all up and down the sides of the rack. Uh, you can write on your individual plates and dumbbells and kettlebells and whatever else and decorate those with all kinds of sigils and fun stuff. You can put them on your workout clothes. Um, geez. Uh, it really, I mean, it's a, a, just a matter of how creative you are and how elaborate you want to be with the whole sigil craft thing. I feel like they're a real fun way... Uh, to do some really cool magic and uh, they're a real easy way to alter your consciousness and so they're actually a, a thing that I, I do a fair amount of sigil work uh, I feel like it's one of the more effective ways I feel like uh, my brain really likes that symbology or the symbolism thing so I try to do what feels powerful for me and, and the sigils just feel powerful and fun and I really like to be able to do a little bit of the art and that whole creative energy is the whole point. Like you're putting your creative energy into manifesting something that you desire. Uh, so that being said, um, yeah, just get creative with it. You can tattoo them on your body if you want. Tattoos are great. Uh, getting the, the sigil tattooed, the pain will charge it. Um, it doesn't really ever destroy that way, so, you know, you're going to want to maybe get a whole bunch of them tattooed so you don't remember which is which. Um, <clears throat> once again, though, like I said, if you're doing something that's, uh, you're launching some sigils, you want to make sure that there are ideas that you want uh, for the rest of your life, especially if you're going to tattoo it on yourself, so, um, yeah. But they're super fun, and there's all kinds of other ways that you can use them, and uh, the ways that I talked about today are really just for health and fitness and wellness. Um, I'm happy to, to help you with any sort of statements of uh, intent, generating that positive uh, present tense statement to help you to manifest the things that you really want. Uh, I'm happy to, if you want to send me pictures of your sigils in progress, if you feel like you want a little bit of feedback, I'm happy to provide that feedback, so feel free to send that stuff my way. Um, feel free as well, please do share this video with your friends, point them in my direction, and let them know uh, that I am doing fitness magic, uh, and I'm trying to mix two really, really cool things. I appreciate everybody's support. Um, if you would like to show me even more support, I invite you to join me as a Patreon supporter. Uh, my Patreon supporters get access to all of my videos. I'm trying to figure out how to always upload in HD. I've been having some issues with uh, Facebook a little bit lately. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm keeping all my videos, and my Patreon supporters will have access to all of uh, an archive of every video that I've uh, made for this sort of thing. Um, since Corona, uh, since the COVID-19 thing started, um, and I will just continue to add to that once we're past all this craziness. Um, 
That being said, you could also support me uh, by shooting me some cash over at Venmo at Ritual Fitcraft, R I T U A L F I T C R A F T, or uh, by PayPal at Mike Welch CPT at gmail.com. Uh, either of those are great ways to show help and support for me. I would really appreciate it. Uh, you can also just uh, point people in the direction of my social media, uh, Ritual Fitcraft. Uh, on Instagram and Ritual Fitcraft on Facebook, as well as YouTube. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I think down the line I'm probably going to do a longer sigil workshop where I do some different sigils and uh, talk about all kinds of other ways to charge and destroy them um, and other uses for them that are fun and creative. Uh, we haven't even talked about all of the advanced techniques yet. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about sigils on your own, just uh, do a little bit of research into chaos magic. That's really kind of where they, they started to become more prevalent and uh, kind of more of a DIY uh, thing. So that's a real good way to read up on them as well. And I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks very much. And I will see you same time next week. Um, every Monday at 6 p.m. I do this class, Movement, Meditation, Magic. There's usually a lot more meditation and a lot more movement, but I feel like uh, uh, this one didn't have a whole lot of space for that sort of thing. So I'll see you next week. Have a great day. And video. Share to story. There we go. Hey. Hey, thank you, Condra. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. You're a rock star. I appreciate you.